welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a full screen page in Flutter with a transparent app bar, as you can see here in the simulator on the right side. Uh, I'm going to show you two different solutions for uh, two possible cases. One of them is the easiest solution and the other one is a little bit more complex, but also very much doable. Um, basically the first solution with the easier one is when you don't need any action uh, buttons in your app bar and you don't need any back button so you're not in the middle of the navigation not in the middle of the let's say your app um, so this easy solution solution one is only when you want to use this page as a let's say landing page that would be the let's say perfect use case of that and a solution two, you can use everywhere in your app. It completely supports the action buttons and the back button. So what we are going to do, let's go with the easy one, in my opinion. So let's call it one dot dart. Uh, yes. Um, so let's go for a stateless widget. Um, let's call it one page, which is, I don't know why I call it like that, but let's say one page to make it clear. Um, first of all, we want to go for a scaffold as a parent. Uh, and for our scaffold, normally we would define an app bar but for this easy solution we're just gonna we're not gonna use any app bar what we are going to use is um, in our body we are going to use a safe area so if you read what a safe area is that's actually creates a widget that avoids operating system interfaces so what it means in this case is actually that every widget that you put as a child in a safe area will it will make sure that it is under um, so let's say below the app the if you would have an app bar this would, this would be below it so it makes sure that everything is in the view and doesn't go out of it because we are we don't have any app bar uh, so it's a very nice widget basically what we are going to do we are making our child a container what we want to do we want to give this a background so because this will contain our let's say background image what we are going to do we add a decoration and as a decoration we are going for box decoration and box decoration image and then we can use the decoration image for this so let's say yes it's let's see the parameter image is required so what we are going to do so obviously it's, it needs an image we are going for a network image. Uh, so basically this wants a string from us. What we are going to do, we are going to download this, uh, not download, but copy the URL of this image on unsplash.com. By the way, this is a great website if you want to, if you want loyalty free, uh, images uh, so let's right click on this copy image uh, address and just paste it over here so we are going to see so for this decoration image we can uh, use a fit uh, so different options but for this case we need the cover um, Uh, so let's say let's see what we have 
we have a container we have a decoration as a background but let's say uh, let's add a child to our container because we don't want only an image we usually want something here so let's say let's center our child for example and let's give it a text and this will be for example the name of my channel um, and you can give this a style which is a text style and let's say you want the font size to be 30 and okay let's save this file and press r oops yeah nothing happens because in the main file i have to change this to one page so it actually opens our page uh, so we click we press r again oops we see some weird things happening at the top and at the bottom but there is a solution for that there is a param which is called top whether to avoid system intrusions at the top of the screen typically this screen status bar so and this is true by default but we want it to be false we save again okay that problem solved but there is also a button which we can also put on false and as you can see it it looks very very nice let's make this uh, different color so you can see the text actually because um, when you have an image as background you have to yeah make sure that your text is obviously readable sometimes you can make it white and it just works but sometimes you even need i don't know some box shadow or some something like that but that's you <clears throat> you can decide that one so basically this is the first solution as you can see there is no way you can um, add any action buttons to this and also if you would come to this page let's say um from another page and you would want to go back there is no back button basically on the on the app bar so yeah physically on your device you can go back but on the app bar there is no back button so you might not want to do that so if you really really want the back button and you want the action buttons which is i think in most of the cases we are going to make another file for that which we call to the dart and we going to create another file for that which we call to page and again we are going to import material so for this case of course we are still going to use scaffold but what we are going to do here we we are going to add a body of type stack what stack does you can read it by default the non-positioned children of the stack are aligned by their top left corners so basically if you're coming from web development these are this is like a relative position relative and the children basically if you are, are have any position property they have they will have position absolute but let me let me just do it and then you will understand so basically first of all we want our um, stack needs children um, so as the first child let's say we have a container we are going to make our body basically this is where our background would go so we will do 
basically the same thing as here as a, we are going to do the decoration and the child I'm just going to copy it over because there's no point in typing all that basically let's clean it up a little bit format document okay it looks nice okay this is important basically uh, what we want to do So anything that we would put here in the child of the container would just be on the page. But what we want to do, we want the app board to actually be on top of this background. So um, that's why that's when this position comes into play. So basically the non position children of the stack are aligned by their top left, top left corner. So this is a non position one. We want a positioned one because we want it on top of this container. So what we are going to do, we are going to add positioned. And then as a child, we are going to do this. We are going to add an app bar. And this app bar is going to have a title which is transparent app bar and then it's going to um, oh yeah this is very important background color it's colors transparent and yeah let's see what happens actually oh let me first change this one page to two page don't use these kind of names but this is just Okay, so as you can see here, some things are happening. Um, so, but it doesn't look entirely awesome. Okay, let's add some actions to it, basically. Um, So let's say, let's add an icon button uh, and then what do we need for an icon button? We need an icon obviously and then icons, share, uh, no sorry it has to be an icon and then icons share I think, yes. And then we need an unpressed because otherwise it doesn't accept it. Okay, let's save it. Okay, as you can see here, you can see here the share button perfectly fine on this. So we actually have an app bar that is on top of our um, background and it's transparent. I just don't know why this master flutter text is like that. I think. There is something wrong here. Mm. So let, let me actually cheat here. What else did I have? Nothing actually. It should just work according to this. Um, okay, maybe everything is okay. But uh, so as you can see here, you can, this is the second method of creating the full screen page with a background image and transparent app bar. This one you can use anywhere in your app, even in the middle of your navigation tree. And, and the other solution that doesn't use an app bar, you can use maybe for a landing page or a introduction page or things like that. So I hope I this was a, of help to you. And if you like my video and if you want to learn a lot of useful stuff about Flutter. 
just subscribe to this channel and like my video i will make at least one video every week and i hope i can make even more often so i hope to see you soon